Hello. Today we'll be discussing the concept of binging a TV show or any other form of visual media. Previously, most of us viewed our favorite shows or favorite visual media through a cable service provider. However, with the advent of streaming services, most people now view their favorite shows, reality TV, documentaries through streaming service providers such as Netflix, HBO Max, or Hulu. Before, in order to view certain visual media such as TV shows or documentaries or newscasts, people would rely on cable services providers such as Cox or Spectrum or Verizon. Before, the consumer or the viewer had to depend on the provider, such as a cable service provider like Spectrum, and they had to rely on the provider's or depend on the provider's schedule. This meant that the control of viewing times for certain episodes newscast, reality TV, documentaries, were all in the power of the provider. An episode would only be played at a certain time, at a certain date, and new episodes and new series, or new documentaries, or TV movies, would only be released at a given time dictated by the provider. With the advent of streaming services such as Netflix, HBO Max, Hulu, the power of viewing shifted to the consumer or the viewer. It was now up to the consumer or viewer's choice as to when they could observe their form of visual media. Also, when keeping up with a specific series, before the viewer was limited to an episode at a time, with streaming services, the direction in which many new series moved towards was to release all episodes of an entire season at once. This led to a type of viewing or a type of consumption of the media by the viewer called binging. To binge a series or to binge a specific type of show meant that one would watch an episode back to back. Although this didn't mean that someone had to watch an episode back to back with no specific time breaks, this meant that the viewer had access to the entire series at their free will. So rather than having to depend on waiting for each week's new episode, they could continue to watch or limit themselves up to their own discretion. But since people now experience this newfound freedom of having the control in their hands of their consumption, they would continue to watch and watch and watch the same series without a break. Sure, they might take a break to go to work or to continue on with other daily tasks, but they observed a specific series or a specific documentary film without a pause. This led to the term binging, to binge a series, to binge a movie production. Now, when streaming services were early on first accessible by everyone, it was favored that production companies, streaming services, released everything at once for people to consume, for it enticed people, or it was in the company's best interest to allow people to binge. However, since services, since streaming services have been around for now a couple of years, a lot of streaming services now 
go back to the previous cable service providers model of releasing an episode a week at one week at a time. It is hard to tell which business model is best or most profitable for the service provider. Should they continue to give a binge model in which the consumer has the power of viewing as many episodes of a specific series or documentary as much as they want, or should they continue to release in a bi-weekly model? It is hard to tell what is most profitable. However, most people seem to continue to gather the sort of marketing or social media presence, presence through the weekly model. It is common to see on famous series or up-to-date series such as Game of Thrones, House of Dragons, The Last of Us, Euphoria, every week when a new episode is released, there seems to be a social media hashtag influx for that week's model. However, having give, allowing the consumer to have free reign over the their consumption could still also be profitable. It will probably take another couple of years for us to understand what within what will be most beneficial for both the consumer and the provider.